Alright guys, welcome to your, what number is this, six tutorial I think, and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create the main window that's going to hold the game. Because right now all we did is we pretty much started working on the inner screen of the game, but in order to create that window, you know, a window with a, a you know, minimize, maximize, X, and you know, just a typical window that you see all the time on Windows, that's what we need to build now. So go ahead and we actually do this in your main method. So the very first thing we need to do is create um, an object called an app game container, which is really a neat name. I like that name. And this is basically the window for your game that your game is going to go inside. So let's go ahead and give this object name app game container. You see how I came up with that? And what we need to do after this is all of the code like to set the I don't know screen size or excuse me window size and to start the window all of this needs to be in a try catch statement so let me go ahead and build the shell for that first try catch and I always build my try catches and I get the catch out of the way first because you know that's the boring part the part that we don't want to happen slick exception which is slicks basically custom uh, error handling e and anytime that we get an exception which hopefully we don't we'll just go ahead and have that e print stack trace there we go how convenient is that so basically did I spell something around there oh I just gotta type some crap into the try of course so now that we have our try catch statement set up the very first thing that we need to do is we need to actually create that window so now we just you know said we're going to be working with it in order to create it put app or whatever your object name is equals new app game container container there we go that's a little bit better if you spell it right now what this does is it actually takes this main class is a parameter an object of this class so new game and we're gonna say game name right like that so what the heck is this line for and why do we need it well we're gonna say we're gonna be creating a window that's gonna hold a computer game what computer game is it gonna hold well this new game that we're making right now which happens to be probably the best game ever hand blaster so again whenever you make a window slick wants you to put it in something called app game container so we don't complain we just say okay that's what we're gonna do so now that it made us you know make that container we now have the power of adjusting it so the very first thing we want to do is set the size of the window do you want it full screen do you want it a thousand by a thousand well let's go ahead and do that right now app GC dot set display mode and the display mode is pretty much the size of it it takes three arguments the first two arguments are length length and width which is 640 and I'll just make this a small one for demonstration uh, 360 whenever you make a real one you may want it like 1500 by a thousand or something but you know since I'm filming this on YouTube I want it small enough so you guys can see and this last one is false this last one is actually I wonder if it'll pop up right here oh uh, no it doesn't tell you the parameters but this last one is actually if you want it full screen um then it's not gonna be false we don't want this full screen we only want it small so false it is so the last thing that we need to do in terms of creating the window is we actually need to start the window or pretty much create it on the screen now in order to do this app GC which is basically the window itself start right like that with empty parameters so to recap one last time anytime that we want to make a window that's gonna hold our game we need to put it in the main method now the first thing we do is create an object and then we create a try catch statement because that's what slick recommends now in order to create the window itself say what game you're gonna be putting inside the window how big's the window gonna be and start basically just creates it basically so that is how you create a window and guys check it out we are actually done with this class for now at least but oh 
man, before we have to create, or before we can test this out, we got a couple errors, which says, you know what? You told me that you had two states. You told me that you had a main menu and a play screen, and you know what, Bucky? You didn't. You freaking lied to me. So I guess, you know, if we don't want Eclipse to get mad at us and the Java gods, that's what we have to do in the next video. We're going to be creating the main menu and the play classes. So, guys, it's going to be awesome, and I'll see you guys then.